Hola, Electrum children. This is Teacher Veronica here, and I'm going to tell you a story today. Right now, we're sitting in, front, in my kitchen in front of my refrigerator, and uh, I'll let you know why we're going to be doing why I'm going to be why I'm sitting in front of my refrigerator. Today, I'm going to be telling you the story about the very hungry caterpillar, but we won't be using the book. You'll see why. It's by Eric Carroll. So, um. Let's get started. In the, in the light of the moon, there's the moon, lay a little tiny egg on a leaf. And on Sunday, up oh, came the sun, the warm sun. And on that tiny leaf, out popped a teeny, tiny, and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. And on Monday, he ate through one apple. One. Can you show me one finger? One. And then on Tuesday, he ate through two. Do you know what those are? If you said pears, you're right. Two pears. But he was still very hungry. Then on Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three, three. You know what those are? Plums. That's you're right. Three plums. But he was still very hungry. Then on Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four. What are those? If you said strawberries, you're right. Four strawberries. And then on Friday. He ate through one, two, three, four, five, five. You know what those are? If you said oranges, you're right. Five oranges. But he was still very hungry. Oh my goodness, he ate a lot of food, didn't he? So he went to search for some more. So he ate through one slice of chocolate cake. Can you help me? A snow cone, a pickle, a slice of Swiss cheese, some salami, one lollipop, a slice of cherry pie, a sausage, a cupcake, and some watermelon. Well, this time, his, he had a tummy ache. So, what he did is he looked, he found a nice leaf to eat through. And after he, after that, he, his tummy felt a lot better. And now he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Guess what happened to him? He was a great, big, fat caterpillar. So he built a small home, a small house around himself. It was called a cocoon. And he stayed inside. He stayed inside for about two weeks. It's about 14 days. That's a lot of days. Then he nibbled a hole through the cocoon. Oh, I have one right here. He nibbled a hole. He was nibbling, nibbling, nibbling. And then he pulled his body out and he was a beautiful butterfly and he's flying around can you fly around and then he flew away goodbye little caterpillar now that you're a butterfly bye 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 my friends that's the end of the story